Hey y'all, it is Julian Austin's The Beer Thrift Machine here on YouTube and I buy stuff and flip it online and make YouTube videos about it. So let's uh, go buy some of that stuff. Alright, so this is my first and only stop at the Goodwills, and already I found a good pair of shoes, which was nice. I put those New Balances back just because they had some condition issues, and they were super dirty, and some of the felt was falling off on the one side. So, uh, I do look at the golf clubs. It's one of my first stops. I usually don't look at shoes first, but I pick up two really good golf clubs that I'll go, go over at the end of this video, and I'll give you all the comps also at the end of this video. All right, so I already picked up a decent combo unit. Then I find these things. These are actually golf tags, and I usually always look up uh, new in container golf tags, and they were asking actually, I think, $3 a piece for these. Not a very good price to flip online. I did look them up, and they only comped out at like a dollar a piece. Now, I do spend a good bit of time actually comping out this John Deere Mighty Trike, and I actually thought it was only for $4.99, so I was going to pick it up, but then I looked a little bit, little bit closer, and it was actually for $74.99, so definitely a pass on that one. All right, now I love finding Harley gear, and this is like a custom shirt. I guess somebody had bleached out, but I definitely picked it up. Now I get into the cabinet with the knives, and me and the worker have a very interesting conversation coming up. Do you have a camera on? Yeah, I actually have a YouTube channel, and I go around and pick up really cool things at Goodwills, and then I show other people online. What's your channel called? Uh, <clears throat> the Bearded Thrift Machine. <laughs> very nice, very fitting. Very fitting, very fitting. <laughs> Unless I shave my beard, then it's not going to be fitting at all. I guess me and you would be uh, arch, arch enemies because I train them not to not to put out certain things because they need to go online, right? Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> me and you are opposite. Yeah. <laughs> nope, I don't think. No luck. No luck. I appreciate it though. All right, you're welcome. All right, back in the house and not a huge haul, but. Not that bad again. So let's go over the items. So the first one right here, now these are older Nikes. These are like Pegasus 28s. 
and I think they're on like Pegasus like 38 or 40 or something like that. So Pegasus 28s, these are size six and a half, so smaller shoe, but look at the, how clean they are, right? And uh, these silk comps kind of go anywhere between like 15 bucks all the way up to about 35, depending on condition. As you can tell, again, I'm very picky on my shoes. I don't like the clean shoes. This one needs just a little bit of that uh, fabric shaver that I have on the back there to make that, uh, you know, little sock thing go away. But really, really clean. I'm thinking I can get about 30 bucks for these. Then uh, again, I got to think about picking these things up. This is a Sony dvd vcr combo that's the model number right there and this one's a pretty good one it is metal it is a little bit heavier but if it works it looks like these things go for about 55 dollars plus shipping i only paid six dollars for it and remember i do have a return on these three days if they do not work i can take them back to the goodwill then head covers now for some reason these were supposed to be two dollars a piece and i was okay for uh paying two dollars a piece but she actually only charged me two dollars for the whole set which was even better and the reason why i picked these up on their own right if it didn't have this embroidery it really wasn't that good of a buy at all they look like these old fuzzy ones that don't have a cool embroidery not worth your time but saint andrews the old course is a like you know it's a very good course and it's very you know people buy stuff from that course go online i'll throw some soul comps up about some of these embroidered ones that say St. Andrews and they are worth some money. These have the tags on them and it has the whole set. I wouldn't have bought just one. I would, you know, I wanted the whole set, which I actually found. So three of these, I guarantee I can get 20 bucks for them. Easy, man, easy to list, easy to ship. They don't even need much cleaning, just a little bit of uh, uh, lint roll and you're good to go on that one. Little custom Harley shirt here, size medium made in the united states and it's on like a older tag it's only haynes beefy i think that's older tag i don't really know but somebody like tie-dyed it and it actually turned out pretty good i did not do this it's a size medium smaller size which will hurt the sale but it should sell still pretty good as you can tell right there i think this is easy 15 bucks plus shipping it is from 2006 the back one is and it's from uh new jersey so that's pretty good. Roxbury, New Jersey. I usually always sell these Harley shirts and I always pick them up and I usually sell them for 10 to $15 plus shipping. Now, don't ever sleep on junior clubs, all right? So this one right here is a Callaway. It's an XJ Junior Regular Flex. And uh, these are in pretty good condition. Callaway's excellent brand to pick up. I have a nine iron and a seven iron. Really wish I had the whole set, but the whole set goes for like 200 and some dollars. Now these are left-handed clubs, as you can tell, like that. Left-handed club, and they would be swinging the club that way. So left-handed clubs here, and I think that I can get $25 for each of these, which is pretty good. Not too bad there. Like I said, all this only costed me $25 and uh, definitely was a good pickup. Now, check out all these shipping supplies. Somebody on the, in the comments said, I can't believe that you think Uline is cheaper or you found it cheaper on Uline. Well, the way I did it was, that's all bubble wrap. Like that's like, I don't know, four foot of bubble wrap. It's insane, like four foot high and like three foot across. And it came in a pallet on an 18 wheeler. And uh, that's the way I saved on shipping because they do charge shipping on their products and there is a place down in Georgia that ships it it is next day so I have a hundred LP boxes that I got that I'm gonna go ahead and start listing the LP records all my uh, they are the golf club boxes I only got a hundred but I should, probably should have bought 200 to be honest with you because uh, when I get into golf club season I start listing all my golf clubs I am known to actually sell like 10 a day so you really think about it that's only 10 days worth of you know boxes so i should probably should have done that and then this monstrous thing of bubble wrap now i only paid 88 dollars for all this and shipping did not go up when i included this in there because this was already coming on a freight truck so when i added this this was basically free shipping so that that whole thing only cost me 88 bucks and i thought that was a really good deal and so right there, I know that's not a lot of stuff, but here's the thing. If you don't have a lot of time, maybe you got 30 minutes on your lunch break or something, and you walk into a thrift store with $25, and then you come out with $150 worth of items, that's not that bad. When you go home, make sure you just go ahead and list all the items that you got, 
correct? So you don't have a big death pile, you're throwing stuff in the corner, and they will sell. And then that $25 will grow into $100, $150, and then it just kind of snowballs on. So I don't mind these little quick thrifting things that I do. You know, a lot of times I go by the one that's near the post office, or I go down the street a little bit to that one, and it's not bad. You go in there, 20 bucks, 30 bucks, not a lot of items bought, and uh, come home, immediately list them, gets rid of, you know, any type of death pile situation that you might have, and then boom, money in the bank. So it's very interesting to know that they actually have a worker that is there that is like their sole idea, I guess, or their sole purpose is to go ahead and tell the workers, hey, no, that's worth that and that's worth that. And it kind of makes sense on the price of that mighty trike John Deere. I was very interested in that thing. I sat there for like 10 minutes trying to look that thing up and you saw that it was $74.99. I don't know if you can see on the camera, but it was $74.99 on eBay, 75 plus shipping. So right there that just shows you they are looking up things on ebay we all knew that in the very you know we all know that but, so it's very interesting to meet the person that actually does it i didn't find any good knives in there maybe they're all online all the cut goes but i do appreciate everybody that watches and you know i will always catch you on the next one